Okay, to keep things easy, we are going to add a bunch of local SCSI disks to one of our hosts so that we can simulate, um, you know, a local ASM type install. So, um, or rather, local disk groups. <coughs> so you go to your virtual machine properties or settings and you just add new hardware. And we're going to add hard disks. And it's going to be SCSI. And we're going to make this guy 2 gigs in size, single file, and let's just call this D1. And we're going to continue doing this maybe eight times. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight disks. Okay, eight SCSI disks added to this guest. Now, if we start up this guest, we'll just boot this up. Okay, so we log in as Oracle, and actually we need to be root, so we're just going to do this really fast. And what we want is the Oracle ASM utility, which doesn't exist right now. So what we want to do is do a yum list grep for Oracle ASM. And there's a couple of packages we're interested in. Oracle ASM, specific to your kernel, and Oracle ASM-support. Oops, configure-i interactively. Okay. And I'm just going to edit Oracle ASM config right here, dev sd question. Okay, we're just going to use the raw devices. Okay, no partitions. And actually, I should probably do this correctly. We'll just do it like this. Okay. So next, load the drivers create disks. So for I N B C D E F G H I. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do Oracle ASM create disk dev SD dollar I. You want to be kind of careful with this, but oops, I have to give it a name, I guess. So create disk, uh, let's call it ASM and then dollar I. <laughs> So it's going to be B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And it's not a partition. Nice. OK, so F disk, dev SDB, new partition, primary, one. And we're going to make it the whole disk. Write that guy out. <coughs> this is the best practice, so fine. I thought I could get around it. So this is part of thinking like an OCM, I think. It's partly just being comfortable with uh, playing around a bit. Because who knows what you're going to get on the exam, right? OF equals dev SD, uh, let's just say BS equals 512, and count equals 1, and OF equals dev SDC, D, E, F, G, H, I. B, C, D, E, F, G H I yeah. There's eight. And now for I N C D E F G H I do part probe dev S D dollar I. <sighs> Alright, and now let's find my Oracle ASM create disk script. There he is, and oh yeah, right. Have to put in a one after that. So I just gotta do this and one. What do you mean it's not a partition? Did I say? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> dollar I, and it's going to be right here, and it's going to be partition one. All right, there we go. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Great. So let's just do this Oracle ASM, exit, Oracle ASM, init, 
Oracle ASM list disks. Of course, we don't know of any. And let's do a scan disks, and we should find B through I. And we'll just do a list really fast. Whenever this thing is done scanning. And we have successfully installed ASM lib like a sysadmin should. Uh, and hopefully we don't actually have to do this during the exam, but there it is. You really need to know Red Hat very well to do this kind of stuff, or, well, Linux for that matter. Now, um, before we continue, actually I'm going to show you a few more things. Um, the other thing that we don't do is we don't actually load um, the Oracle ADVM or the Oracle ACFS modules um, by default in a single uh, instance or single uh, node configuration. So if you're trying to set the ADVM compatibility um, on a disk group and you find that you're unable to, it could be because you don't actually have your Oracle ADVM um, kernel module loaded in. And that's again something that your sysadmin would normally take care of, but it's possible we have to worry about all this kind of stuff during the exam. Okay, this is thinking like an OCM, I think. <laughs>